by taking hold of your shoulder and low. high? Let's go for it. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Want to test out stopping at the top? Yeah. Go ahead and bring it down. And let's stop it at the top. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> stop it at the top <laughs> so as you can see she's already picking up some good basic skills just for that um, side uh, circle but this is not easy stuff and it's not just grip strength it's the whole neurological organization kinesthetic and proprioceptive I mean there's all sorts of things going on this is wonderful play so let's watch a couple other things let's look at left hand <laughs> here we go Yep. Yep. So three of these. So this is our basic just getting prepared. Now of course when you're starting, you'd want to do lots of these. To where this just is absolutely natural. And it's constantly coming right behind the shoulder here. That's where you park it each time. Last one. Okay. Now we're going to come back to our ready position, and we're going to come from the low position and take it over the shoulder for our side circle. And out of respect for Coach Tar's grip, we're mm -hmm. only going to do three of those. Then we're going to do three where we bring it out higher. So this is our middle position. And here's our high position. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Do it again. Ah, oh, better. Timing. Timing is timing. Heavy. Okay. <laughs> and I'll do a stop, drop, stop, and we practice swings at different levels. And remember, you let it come all the way back to the arm, bring your arm down. Okay? So, cheap date. Now we're ready for our basic go-over, and you can do low, medium, or high, whatever looks uh, good for you. It feels right in this moment. Okay. So here we go. Timing, balance, tempo, it's all part of the package. other moves, she's going to continue on with what she's doing. So you can see there are many different ways that you can use your pendulum. You know, I have some additional thoughts about this pendulum. And the first thing was, 
that, you know, I've done the double ball staff for a while and the technique of it is the same. You know, I've, I've got the grip on the ball and I understand the motion is similar. However, when you put the weight up on the top here, it changes the whole dynamic of it. So I was, when I first started this, I was using it like a double ball staff. So I was the timing, I was trying to get it to be a double ball staff rather than feeling the weight of this and getting it into float and really letting it get into position before I move my arm. And it just makes all the difference. But this added weight is a huge game changer.